so in the last video we have made our jump up action work but right now the jump up action will look weird if we do it from large angles like 90 degrees or above so let me show you so if i try to jump up from a large angle like 90 degree then you can see that the animation is looking weird the player is facing a feet on the air after jumping so we can fix that by rotating the player towards the obstacle while performing actions like jump up okay so let's look at how to do that so from the do parkour function while we are playing the animation we should rotate the player towards the obstacle so from here we should also smoothly rotate the player towards the obstacle while we wait for the animation to be complete so how can we do that how can we perform another action while we are making the code wait so if you're making the code wait like this then we won't be able to perform another action parallelly so what i'll do is i'll make the code wait by using a while loop so first i'll create a float variable called timer and i'll set it to zero by default and then while the timer is less than or equal to animation state dot length then we'll wait for one frame by calling field return null okay and from this while loop we should also update the timer so i'll update the timer by adding time dot delta time to it so this piece of code over here will make the code wait for the length of the animation just like this code but here we're making it wait by using a while loop so while we're waiting we can also perform other actions parallelly from the while loop okay so from here we can rotate the player towards the obstacle all right so we don't want to rotate the player for all parkour actions we only want it for some actions so what i'll do is here i'll create a new serialized field variable called rotate to obstacle okay let me also create a property for it all right and when we check if the action is possible then we can also check if rotate to obstacle is true and if it's true then we can calculate the target rotation to which the player should rotate okay so here i'll create a property of type quaternion called target rotation okay i'm going to make it a property so in case you don't know this is actually a simpler way of creating a property in this case we don't have to create a private variable and a property separately writing it like this will do both for us so now you might be thinking if we have a simple way like this then why are we not using it for fields like anim name and rotate to obstacle the reason for that is because when we write properties like this it won't be serialized by unity and it won't show in the inspector so for fields like this which we want to show in the inspector we can't use this shortcut but we can use this if it's a field that we don't want to show in the inspector okay so now if rotate obstacle is true then we should set the target rotation to a value that makes the player face the obstacle right so how can we make the player face the obstacle for that we can use the normal of the obstacles surface that was hit by our raycast so in case you don't know let me explain what a normal is so in unity all the faces of a 3d object will have a normal so the normal of a face is a perpendicular vector from that face so for example the normal of this face will be like this all right it's a perpendicular vector from that face and 
the normal of this phase will be like this okay so if you just search for normals in google then you should be able to see some example so here you can see a good example so there are lots of faces in this mesh and you can see the normal for each face okay so that's what a normal is so in our case the normal will give us the direction of the obstacle that we are trying to jump on right but the normal will always be facing outwards so we don't want the player to rotate towards normal we want to make her rotate towards the opposite direction of the normal right so let's go ahead and do that so here i'll say target rotation is equal to the negative direction of the normal so we can get the normal from the hit info so we can get it from hit data dot forward hit dot normal all right and since we want the opposite direction we'll take the negative of the normal so the normal is a vector so to convert it into a quaternion, I'll use quaternion dot look rotation. Okay. So now this rotation will make the player face towards the obstacles face. So from the do Paco action function, we should smoothly rotate the player towards the target rotation. So from here, first I'll check if action dot rotate to obstacle is true and if it's true then i'll use quaternion dot rotate towards to rotate the player smoothly towards the target position so here the from rotation will be the current rotation of the player the two rotation will be the target rotation that we calculated okay and finally here we can specify the amount by which we should rotate every frame so we already have a rotation speed for the player in the player controller all right here we have rotation speed which we are using to rotate the player while moving but this is a private variable so we can access it from the Parker controller so let's actually create a property for it okay and now from here for the rotation amount i'll pass player controller dot rotation speed multiplied by time dot delta time okay so this should rotate the player towards the obstacle and by the way we don't need this weight statement anymore this while loop is doing the same thing so we can get rid of this line all right so now let's go to unity and for each parkour action now we'll also have a rotate to obstacle boolean so for the jump up action i'll turn this on and now let's go ahead and test this so i just tried testing and it wasn't working because i made a mistake in the code so here we're just calling the rotate towards function but we are not setting the rotation returned by this function back to the player's rotation so let me go ahead and do that okay so now it should work properly so let me go ahead and test this again all right so now if i try to jump up you can see that i'll automatically rotate towards the direction of the obstacle's face okay so yeah that's working fine so that issue is fixed so i'll stop the video here and i'll see you in the next video